I'm just sitting here wondering, am I ever going to play Missile Command? Brain Duel? Moon Patrol? Evil Knievel? Motherfucking biplanes? On the Intellivision Amico? Or are these just always going to be greeting cards? I mean, that's the way I looked at them. Like, physical products, my ass. There's not even a physical console to play this stuff. Oh, my God. So... What's going on with Intellivision? It's nonstop. Every day there's something new, something weird going on. And I did see the um, little clip that you guys shared with me concerning the new CEO saying like, hey, we're going to have an announcement at the end of February. Well, guess what? Right now, as of the recording of this video, it's 9.23 p.m. March 1st. So it's almost March 2nd in California where I'm at. It's, it's March 2nd. And plenty of other places in the world. But February has come and gone and there is no announcement from Intellivision. Everything's quiet. What is really going on here? Like, am I going to look at these things in the future as, like, collectible items, maybe? Um, a reminder of all the, the BS that, that went on? Or, like, maybe it'll remind me of the friends we made along the way. Freaking ridiculous, man. Oh, my God. The fat lady has sung. As soon as this crowdfunding started, the start engine stuff, you know, we talked about that yesterday. It closed down and whatnot. But really, this video is just kind of, you know, off the cuff, you know, as the ladies like to say, just conversation here with all the bullshit going on. Because I find this interesting, odd, and, and just strange. Like, what is really going on here? I got notification earlier that Tommy Tallarico... Um, who does follow me for some strange reason, uh, has privated his Twitter account, which is like one of the main places where he would uh, conversate, criticize the critics type of thing. Uh, the founder, president, CCO of uh, television, game designer, composer, and creator of video games live. He is, his, his tweets are protected. What is, he, what is he trying to hide here? What is he trying to hide? That's what I'm curious about. What's going on? Maybe Tellerico.com will... Uh, you know, give us some insight. No, doesn't. I, I, I think I've seen something where he has a, a concert coming up pretty soon. You know, I, I know his uh, attention, you know, certain things going on in life has been elsewhere. I, I get it. But what what's the deal with the protected tweets? Like, is he, you know, no announcement, like, was said there was going to be an announcement. Had a lot of people anticipating the news, and there is no news. And is it because he just doesn't want people attacking him? Does he not want to be part of conversations? He just doesn't want to see anything? What What's going on here? You know, some people had some interesting uh, thoughts. Only approved cult members can see uh, Tommy's tweets. You know, the cult members, you know, whoever they are, right? There, there's a few of them out there. I don't know any of them by name because uh, if, you've, if you've paid attention to my channel um, over the years, I don't really name people because I don't pay attention to, to people who... Or, like, try to start drama. I have this whole thing, man. Uh, like, they're YouTubers. Like, these little YouTubers and whatnot. And they, they want you... They want to force interactions with you because I think they have this thing in their mind. Like, the drama and the f trying to force interactions. Like, get people to talk about them. Or, like, post reactions. Like, you don't see me posting reactions to, to other YouTubers. Like, I don't give a shit. But, you know, I think some of them think, like... um that it'll help them in some way to cause drama. So most of these people, like, you know, and I've, I've had very level-headed conversations in the past or, you know, criticisms, but, like, hey, I'm looking forward to this thing. You know, yeah, I could be a little blunt sometimes. It's just who I am. I don't, I don't give two shits. Like, if you, you like it or you leave it or you deal with it, whatever, man. You don't, you, you don't have to agree with everything I say, but most of my viewers have been around for a long freaking time, um, they agree or they disagree and they still are like civil and cool with me. But some people, they get like bent the fuck out of shape. And I just like, I, I just put it to the side. Don't pay no, no mind to these people. So I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't go out of my way. I don't know these cult members, man, but some of these people here. Yeah. Only approved cult members. Oh, snap. <laughs> that kind of thing. Like, I mean, what, what is going on <laughs> trying to figure out my second? I don't, I don't think I have a second account. I don't do any of that. Um, Alt account bullshit. 
I, I know I see like I, I hear from people and I I don't care about the the dumb crap that goes on out there, but you know I'd be hearing of like these grown ass men with alt accounts like attacking each other and starting crap and just talking shit back and forth. Like I mean, more power to you, dude. Like in my mind, to do stuff like that, if you're not getting paid, you you got to be pretty fucking miserable, man. Like if you ain't making a dollar by talking shit or wasting all this time, like what the hell's the point, man? What's the point of having feuds with people uh, and, and putting that much effort? Like you, you gotta have nothing better to do, I guess, but it's kind of fucking weird. I see it all the time, but try not to pay too much attention to it. But yeah, I'm tr- really, really curious what's going on. What, what is he trying to hide? What is he trying to hide? So I did have a couple comments that I seen from uh, actually some uh, uh, subscribers to my channel who've been around for a long time. And they always make pretty, pretty, you know, pretty nice points. I'm, I'm forgetting how to speak today. But James Kasusnik, um, you know, I appreciate you, bro. But he had uh, this comment to say on one of my recent videos: "The Intellivision Miko has failed. Uh, is it finally over?" Question mark type thing. Uh, I had one comment like, every video I put out, I always get a, at least one comment: "Clickbait." I don't think motherfuckers know what clickbait is. But hey, you know what? It's YouTube. You got to do what you got to do. You have a very limited amount of space to. Um, Put an enticing title. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Calm down, right? <laughs> but James here, he's talking about where I was talking about... Um, he's talking about where I was talking about the friends of Talarico and how ridiculous that was and how since the beginning is like... He's not your friend, man. Businesses, they're about the, 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 the bottom line, the dollars, man. They want to make that money and, you know, they're using you. They're using you. They ain't, they ain't your fucking friend. They calling you, seeing how your wife's doing, how you're doing. You want to come hang out and have dinner? Or is it just talking about business? Like, hey, can I come on your channel? Talk about the Amico? Can we do a podcast? Can you interview me? You want to come out to this event? Like, if it was, that's like 90% of it. Not your fucking friend, dude. Just, that's, that's the way it goes. Um, but James, he made a, a pretty interesting point talking about that. Uh, how he thinks of people who fanboy over certain brands, buy everything of that brand and think that the same brand actually cares about your service. Maybe a small local business might, but not a, a huge corporation. That's essentially the way I look at it. I, I mean, the same thing. Maybe a local business, you can be cool with them, like maybe the business owner and kind of have like this relationship that goes a little beyond the exchange of money um, or having ulterior motives. But like, People be like fanboying out and getting very defensive over things, man. It's just video games. That's all it is. It's just entertainment. You know what I mean? But some people they they get like really twisted. Like I like the Nintendo. I, I I like Sony. I like Xbox. If you talk shit about any of them, I don't fucking care. You're not talking shit about my family. You're talking shit about a company. Like I don't care. You know if you have a negative, you know. Outlook on something compared to the way I look at something. Who cares? What's the point of arguing? You're not going to change my mind. I'm not going to change your mind, right? That's just the way it is. But yeah, I mean, it's an interesting point there. And then uh, my buddy Pabst, he's always, Paps always got like these, these little droplets, droplets of wisdom, like in, in my comment section. He's always got these, these little uh, words of wisdom. These new retro, I think this was the same video. Yeah, it was. These new retro consoles are all dreamers. Don't invest your money in people's dreams. When banks and investors won't invest in these people's dreams and they turn to you, Joe Schmo Gamer, they are desperate. And when you take the bait, you're just investing in their delusions. Don't fail with them. I mean, really? Like, that's it. Mic drop. Over with. Like, this, it's, it's just crazy, man. You got to have a lot of faith in these people. You invest or you, like, when you invest in a company, like, you know, what Intellivision has been doing, um, asking for investments to, you know, pay their bills type of thing, essentially, is the way I'm looking at it. But also investing by buying into their console and, you know, buying their greeting cards and all this shit. Um, you got to have faith, man. If you, if if And once it looks like it's not going well, you got to, you know, are you going to sink with the ship? Are you going to like bail out and, and be like, you know what? I hope for the best, Captain, <laughs> but I'm out of here, dude. You're sinking with the ship. I'm out. I'm out of here. Some people can't get out when they invest money, 
as far as like into the company, not buying into their products. You know, you pre-ordered, hopefully you can get your money back if that's what you're trying to do. But I mean, you got to face realization at some point. You know what I mean? Don't fail with them. And some people are failing with them. And some people are jumping out and saying, hey, you know what? I hoped, hope for the best. I really wanted this thing to happen. And right now it's not looking great. And a lot of these criticisms are starting to look really uh, valid, right? <laughs> it just takes all these shenanigans to be going on. These uh, extra crowdfunding fucking uh, <laughs> opportunities that have failed. It's the haters who, you know, derailed this, I guess. But there you go. Let me know what you think, man. I'm kind of done talking about this unless some kind of big news comes out. But you know, I was just thinking about this with the... Uh, Tommy Tallarico protecting his tweets. Like, what is he going through there and deleting stuff? Like, getting rid of, like, anything he said? I don't know. Like, what, what is going on? Bender is back. John DiMaggio has uh, closed the deal to reprise his signature voice role as the foul-mouthed robot. That's, that's good news. Looking forward to Futurama. I love that show. When it first came on air on Fox back in the day, I recorded the entire first season every time it came on on VHS tape. How long ago was that? Holy crap, when tapes were still a, a thing, I, I recorded the whole first season, and I still have those uh, tapes. Pretty interesting. I mean, we got, like, DVDs, Blu-rays now, but, yeah. Hey, let me know what you think. I'm going, like, all over the place now. Fuck. Appreciate you guys. Bye.